all right all right all righty all right what is going on everybody my name is pete but you probably already knew that but in case you didn't you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and pay to drive logs day number 1261 coming at you if this is your first time on my channel first and foremost welcome uh leave a comment right now saying hashtag first timer so i can say hello to you and of course uh, if you've been here before, leave a comment saying hashtag before. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with the all notifications turned on. Tap that little bell to the right of the red subscribe button. It's free, so I'll give you a second to do that. And of course, let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. Make sure to tap that like and let's jump into this. So this particular email, this is almost like a two-part thing here. Uh, this was sent to, well, I shouldn't say that it was, it was sent to me by a bunch of people, but it just so happened that, uh, Brian Richardson was the first one to let me know about it. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely, uh, something that we did not want to happen, but it, it did. So he goes, new Dasher app layout, can't cherry pick. So he goes, hey, Pete, it's Brian. I'm sure you probably have gotten a lot of emails or comments, but DoorDash has now updated as of this morning, which was the other day, the Dasher app, there is no more cherry picking. The screen comes up and it says estimated time and all of them say $5 plus 100% of tips and how many miles you're going to drive. So you're going to have to guess and it's not going to tell you how much your order is anymore. It's just going to give you the base pay and tell you you will get 100% of the tips, but they're not telling you if there is any tips. This is a monstrous problem. Um, first and foremost, how many of you guys have seen this already happen? Let me know in the comments or the chat. I don't know if you're over here in the chat or down there in the comments or the, uh, the chat on mobile. So what are my thoughts on this whole thing? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. DoorDash knows how, how bad, bad the picking has gotten, uh, the multi-apping and all that stuff. And again, they cannot legally deactivate drivers uh, for these, these things. So if you multi-app, if you cherry pick, they can't deactivate you for that. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to make it, well, if you want to work, if you want to make money, you're going to take what we send you. And they don't want you to know the tips. And in my opinion, that's a big problem because as an independent contractor, you should know what you're being paid, period. It, it's, it should not be a big surprise. You know, Alexa, ask the Roomba to pause. Sorry, that happens far too often. So, like I said, this was the inevitable. Grubhub was playing around with this a few years ago. They, they've, they've tested it a couple of times where they're just like, uh, you know, the payout will say like, you know, guaranteed full payout or whatever, you know, or whatever it was. I forget exactly what the terminology was. But the fact is this, drivers are you know coming out more and more and more uh saying that they feel that the system's unfair the system's unfair so they're cherry picking like crazy which you are allowed to do i am a proud cherry picker myself in my particular market uh like i've said many times in the past uh, i don't have to multi-app as much i don't have to uh run apps other than grubhub specifically you know what i mean um but i know doordash is the big one, you know, the one that everybody is pretty much signed up on everybody in the chat or the comments right now. I'm just out of curiosity, comment down below, which app you work on the most. Is it DoorDash? Is it Grubhub? Is it Uber Eats? Cause back in the day it was all about Uber Eats. Then it was about Grubhub and then DoorDash came out shortly after. And DoorDash is the one you primarily hear the most about. So with that being said, uh, this, like I said, was inevitable that this was going to happen. And is this going to cause massive problems for drivers? Yeah, it absolutely is. Because they are trying to find ways to make dri drivers or dashers, however you want to refer to yourself. They are trying to make drivers 
take as many orders as possible without being cherry picked or without a driver being forced to go to another app. Although I can still see other drivers multi-apping, going to Grubhub and Uber Eats as well, if DoorDash is going to play this game. Now, one thing I will mention is that whenever you are at a job or whenever a change or an update is made to an app or something, people almost always find a way around it, okay? Or find a way to exploit it or take advantage of it or whatever. So this happening at first definitely seems like a big problem because it is. You can't see the tip. That's a huge issue. But Maybe in time, someone will discover a way to use this to their advantage and maybe tell other drivers about it. You know, maybe there's a way for this to make more money. I don't know. It's too early to, to, to tell. I'm just trying to take somewhat of an optimistic approach to it. Um, but yeah, for right now, this doesn't sound too great. So my big question to everybody is, will this deter you from working with DoorDash? Will you say, you know what, I'm going back to another job, forget this, or are you going to tough it out and try and see how this goes and take whatever you can get with DoorDash, whatever they're giving you? So let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on all of that. And, I, and if you ever want to send me an email, send it to paytodrivestories at gmail.com. I am no longer using Facebook for communication. It's just getting to be too much on there. So put it all in one place, paytodrivestories at gmail.com. And uh, I want to give shout outs to all of our patrons here that support the channel every single month over at patreon.com slash paytodrive. Uh, if you want to sign up, link is in the description or the pin top comment. And when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. So if you heard your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And of course, please, everybody, make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. I know I say it all the time. Link is in the description. It's a free app for your smartphone. Every time you pump gas, you will save money. And this is how it works. All you have to do is download the app for free. Link in the description. Like I just said, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a, fan, a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description down below make sure to download it and of course go check out paytodrivestore.com where you can get official pay to drive t-shirts like this i multi app there's a whole bunch of others all shirts are on sale links in the description go pick yourself up something nice a t-shirt a hoodie something and anyway uh, if you made it to the end, comment end 700, end 700. Just let me know you made it to the end. Subscribe with all notifications on. If you have not yet, I'll give you a second to do that. And of course, smash that like button. Come on now, the like button's lonely. Anyway, until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you all right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Peace out.